That's right. Well, I think, uh, as I said earlier today, I, th I think we have a chance to be very, very good. Most coaches tend to uh, try to undersell and overachieve. I've always been the kind of coach that said, if we're going to be good, uh, but we will be good. Uh, I do think we have a chance to be extremely uh, uh, athletic. I think we're uh, able to score. And right now the challenge is as to whether we can get our, our kids to defend and uh, to like each other because it's, it's uh, 12 women. I don't know if you've ever been around 12 women before. We're trying to get 12 women to like each other is a job in and of itself. So uh, we could be very good. And, and when I say we want to be relevant at the end of the year, that means we want to be in the hunt. And that's for the NCAA. How challenging is it to replace a player like Cam Snyder? You know, we've been asked that question a bunch of times in the last 14 years because we've had four or five All-Americans. And uh, each time uh, I answer it the same way, which is, is that, uh, you know, we, we don't look at that as a challenge. We simply look at this year's team and try to make it the best team it can be. And we have zero thoughts about replacing anyone and we move on to this year here are the kids that you know we've uh, asked to be here and do the best job we can with them without even honestly remotely thinking about replacing people uh, in terms of uh, uh, points or, 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 or whatever and i will say this though uh, caitlin was a very very special special player and that's uh, that's a given how much fun has it uh, been to see Haley Garrett, um, you know, come into her own here? You, you watched her in high school, I'm sure, and get to this point now. She's one of the leaders of the team, right? Well, I think the reason that we coach is to watch kids get from point A to point B in life. And it's been more enjoyable to watch Haley grow as a person, honestly, than it has been on the basketball court. Uh, we take it for granted, maybe. Uh, maybe we shouldn't, but, but but we take it for granted. Kids in our program, from their first year to their fourth year, or first to their third, are going to be much better. Uh, I enjoy watching these kids grow as people, and and just how much more mature she is right now as a person uh, than she was two years ago. Do you see this season uh, maybe resembling anything from last year? Like you guys had to battle your way to you know, get that tournament win just to get into the NCAA. After. 32 years, this is my 33rd. Every season is, is, uh, is in and of itself. So you really don't, I think it's a mistake for coaches to try to compare one team to another, uh, compare one season to another. Uh, even if you have your entire team back, you have a different team. Because they're all a year old. Uh, you know, I, I would ask the question, are you the same person you were one year ago? Probably not. And so we all mature, we all evolve, we all become different people. Uh, so we try to give each team the benefit of the doubt that they are a unique group and we need to figure out how to coach this unique group. Um, you know, with this, this, the press conference and everything, new teams, um, do you feel like anything's different or do you feel like, you know, like the Mountain East is, is different than, you know, the Wibiak, the, the old conference used to play? Uh, I would say at this moment, no. Uh, but when we are in day four of our trip to Urbana and Notre Dame, and we're up in Cleveland, it's snowing three feet, uh, I probably will tell you yes. Uh, so, um, I mean, there, there are a lot of differences, though. I think, I think, uh, I think Reed Amos has, has really pulled this league together. Um, I, th I thought today's media day was excellent. Uh, it was very well organized. Uh, and so, not the previous ones were not organized, but just I think it's a great kickoff. Uh, there have been years before when we didn't even have a media day. So uh, I think uh, all of the things that, that uh, Reed is doing uh, just kind of give a, an air of professionalism and sort of a workmanlike attitude. And I think that it'll, it'll just be something that will we'll get better and better. And, I'll be interested to see five years from now if the same schools you saw in front of you are still the same schools. That'll be an interesting thing to, to, to see evolve. But uh, uh, we're looking forward to the, to the challenge. When I say that, you know, four-day road trips are not nor the norm for uh, Division II teams.
teams, at least not around here. Uh, if you were out west, maybe so. But uh, so you know, we as coaches have to embrace that because if we don't, the players will pick up on it. So we have to try to find creative ways to make those road trips more enjoyable, uh, and, and then hopefully play well. Good. All right. Perfect. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs>